<clears throat> oh, let me try and get in the screen here. There we go. Hey guys, welcome to Dolphin Quest Live. Going to be showing off some Nintendo Labo today. Hopefully the sound's not too bad. I couldn't get my normal mic working. So I got to just use my laptop one. <clears throat> but yeah, so we got some Nintendo Labo doing the robotics kit today. Probably get the other one in a little bit. It's a little bit of an investment. You know, you got to pay for that premium Nintendo cardboard. But I think this will be a lot of fun to build. So let's get into it. Joining in? Come on in. Yeah. Um, Alright, so Brandon's joining us. And it's really bright in here. Yeah, if you want you to turn off that light, I don't think it's really making much of a difference. Just be careful with all the cables. So apparently it has to update the controllers. I feel like it's going to be updating each one. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. And then when I, when I plugged in the... Um, the little cartridge. There was already a day one update for it. Oh, God. Yeah. I don't know why I thought a Nintendo console wouldn't have to do that. Well, you know what they say, more controllers, more problems. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's like, it says something like it has to update its rumble feature, so it's literally updating... Like yeah, hardware so could, specs in here. Well, I was going to say, you could probably, you know, tilt those and it'll make it seem like there's marbles in it at this point. Yeah, I think I think that's actually kind of what it needs to do because I think putting the, uh, you know, switching the headset makes it... So, uh, yeah, I'm going to try important. to move this without ruining the entire setup. Yeah, as, you can move the laptop, just got to watch the webcam there. Okay. All right. Yeah, and then you can sit right over there. Okay. All right. I guess it's not going to try and update the other controllers. Just a lot of oh. Um, oh, I'll turn it to the center. Okay. Hey. Oh, All right. Let's get cool little sound effects. Quickly. I know, but I don't have the remote. <laughs> Remember I tried doing that before? No, it's not a big deal. We can still see it. It, it doesn't show up like that on here. It looks normal. <laughs> the sound, I have no idea what it sounds like, though. I'm gonna hope that it's okay. Let me just link to this real quick on Facebook. So if you want to just start clicking through these, actually, because it's probably going to, uh, you know, tell us to grab some pieces. Yeah. Yeah, I think you got to make first. Yeah. There. Okay, so Joy-Con holder. I think we gotta open this up and actually grab that out of here. Yeah. Oh, look at all this to Yeah. Uh, I think that's this right here. Yeah, it looks like it. So, There's probably more than one of them. Yeah. Is that it? Oh, no. No, I don't think Wait, so. This no. is the opposite one? It's all crumbly. No. It's all crumbly. Yeah, it's already coming apart. Here's what um A looks like. After all. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, no, that is the right one. Yeah, it just is like backwards. So. It says A in the light hole. I was going to say, is this separate from this? Yes. Okay. Very good. That is it. Yeah, I think that's to make like patterns and stuff. Okay, if you want to assemble that then. There we are. Okay. 
suits and use them and just have to fold on these lines and everything. Okay. There we go. Published on both pages. Yeah, this is gonna suck the sword out. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, this is the backpack though, so I think maybe a lot of the stuff will go inside the backpack. Like if you have one of the um you know the ToyCon one kits that literally just has so many individual pieces, I feel like those are those parents are probably not gonna be happy when they <laughs> See that their kid just steps on it because they forgot about it or something. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you just bend it? Yeah. It's pretty easy. It's so much paper. Oh, oh, there was more steps. We literally just looked at the one picture. Look, it shows you what one to grab. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Remove it, but just this one. Let's see. The switch is in the bag. Fuck. There we go. Okay, so it says also build a yes. toy con and handheld. Got it. Nice. Uh, I don't think we, I don't think we put this in there just yet because I think it just wants us to continue to build first. Yeah. It's so I'll take it out of the controller though. Ooh, look. Ooh. Oh, it's okay. So it's like a tutorial. It's not letting me. No. It's like, oh, you're too stupid to, to zoom in. L slash R and tilting the trigger. Yeah, I yeah. Are you holding it and then hitting the... Holding L and moving L and R. You want me to move it? Maybe you can put that back on there. Maybe you can figure it out. This is supposed to be the easy part. I mean, it seems like you're doing a pretty good job. I feel like it wants us to use the touch screen, but we can't because it's in, um, you know, HDMI mode. <laughs> this is the okay. extent of playing with it. You know what I think it's trying to say? It's saying that we could pan the camera. You know, so it's not like static. But it's, I don't think it's gonna let us because we don't, we're not. Uh, oh, wait, you had it for a second there. There you go. Okay, um, how did you do that? Well, for one thing, it was the bumpers and not the things that were displaying on the screen. <laughs> okay, now let's just press X. Yeah. But yes, I already built this really behind. Yeah. I feel like the little sound effects that were like condescending. It's like, oh, congrats. You moved the screen. Yeah, I think you just hold it. Yeah. Because you already did all that. <laughs> It is a kid, so we have to, you know. Name a kid that bought this. I mean, some kid's mom bought it for them. I don't know of any kids. I mean, you know, I don't know of kids, so. Well, none of the kids where I work have a Switch, so I don't know if I'm talking about it. 
Oh, really? They don't. Hmm. Do they have any, like, TSs or anything? Yeah. Wow. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, so you gotta slide this out of there. You have to push the button off of that. Alright, I'll take this part. Yeah. So see. So it says, can you see the hole in the back? So flip it around. I see you. Yeah. So this is asking for this part. <laughs> okay. Uh, can't see what button that says to say that we're done. Oh, now we're on this side. Okay, I got it. So you hold on. Oh, wait, that was just for demo. So I guess you just press add. Oh. Reminds me of like little big planet mixed with like Parappa the Rapper and like Logo Rogo. Yeah, damn, yeah, this is. It's gonna take like a couple of hours to make this. Alright. Well, if it makes us have to hold down the A button every single time. Looks like one of us is building the other one's Yeah. There are a lot of pieces. Yeah. Oh. oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, did you get all that? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> okay. Um, where did we put the plastic? I'm surprised it doesn't say do not eat. Yeah. It's right there. There must, yeah, like these small pieces. Yeah. There has to be some sort of warning. Okay, so we have that. Okay. okay we're making the visor. Hey, it looks like um from uh, Ready Player One. The the headsets they get used to get into their voices. Okay, so we need robot A and B. I'll take this piece off then. Okay. Okay. Be sure not to bend it. So, there's too many, like, notes. Okay. Okay. I wonder if people are going to speed run this game. Yeah. I mean, probably by the end of the night, there's going to be... Some speedrun uploads or something on that one website. Yeah. Those crazy people. Okay, so I took off all the little extra doodads there. It's like making a giant or something. This would take me forever to animate. Yeah. Do you think they use Blender, SolidWorks, or some other 3D program? I don't know. No, I feel like they probably have their own proprietary thing for this. Or this is like in um, some experimental build of like Unreal Software or something. Yeah. It's like cardboard exclusive. Okay, there's a little few that you in here. Oh, yeah, I see that. So now it's on this side. I'm just gonna assume that this gets 
I mean, everything kind of just, like, goes in the, you know, like, the direction that it looks like it would be going in. Turn that over. Okay, yeah, now it's your turn, so I'll... I'll fast forward it while you're... Yeah, go ahead. I, I pretty much have to. Yeah. So I just need to see okay, so you oh, hold really? it... You just hold it down. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. We need the plastic pieces. Not prepared! Is this reflective tape? Ooh, it is. Look. In case you want to run out and traffic with your cardboard robot. I have a feeling a lot of people will in. <laughs> in their underwear. Yeah. Yeah, like that shit. <laughs> Heh, got it. Okay, so... Here you go. Uh, you see Yep. Okay, that one goes up the top. Oh, come on. There you are. And then I guess this probably folds over. Yeah, so it wants you to, before you twist that on there, look, you have to fold that over top. Oh, I see you did this slightly on the right way. What do you mean? Uh, here, I'll go back. We'll do, yeah, go back. Oops. There you have it. Okay, so you put that there. I think this goes here. No, 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 you have it right. It, it comes up like this. Uh, so you want to see that on top. Yeah, so you put that and this piece goes on top here. So this would have to go like this then. No, 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 just look at the picture. Here, let me, let me zoom out. Uh, is this... Here. I think this might help a little bit. You see how this... It just goes like this. Yeah. And then get the orange piece. This one. Yeah, and then you just put that back here. You kind of have to hold this part down. And then... This R goes up, like, facing forward. Mm -hmm. You push that down, and then you just connect it like this. Okay. Yeah, that's it. And then you just put that little grommet piece, the washer, on top of there. And then it should just snap into place, right? Yep. Got it. And then... Sweet. Alright. Oh, it says that we might want to bend the pieces next to the arrow. Just a little bit. So just kind of like bend it at the edges. Yeah, because this is probably the most high Yeah. Okay. Well, that's one. If you accidentally put the eyelid together the wrong way, just ask an adult to take it apart again. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> and then just a distant, what? <laughs> Yeah, that's because remember it's gonna have that part where you put you put the Joy-Con on the left side, then that switches over to that. And then it vibrates at a frequency that starts to be in the brain. <laughs> that and was Nintendo's plan all along. <laughs> okay, so we need this piece next. Yeah, all those software updates for the vibration function. Yeah. <laughs> well when they have the uh you know, the realistic touch, like, VR bodysuit thing. <laughs> Alright, how much of this is getting taken off? Um, first we'll combine it with the right-hand part of that you just made. So I think literally, like, everything. This is used for stencils. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it sort of looks like an Oculus Rift. I guess it wastes the less materials to do it like that. Yeah, it's like, oh, well, we could just have it so that it's empty cardboard, but... Here, we made a cool little star stencil. Okay, let me show you. Oh, you can see the back of it this way. Like that. Okay. Okay. 
So printed side facing up, fold. So flip it over. Yeah, and then fold the R, the L and R side inward. I think. Oh, it just wants you to fold it over. Oh, I think you just did that. Right. Okay, now flip it over. Look at that. Look at that. Fold this top bit over and press it down. Hey, look, it's the right hand piece. Aha! So, yep. Then I hand you this piece, and I think it goes right over into this hat. See the triangular opening on the end of the right hand part. Slide the tab on the middle part in there so that R marks overlap. Oh, that's this wait, I I didn't think that okay. So this R has to go here over. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know that that's what they were gonna mean. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Once you've done that, take this tab on the right hand part and fold it back of the way. Yeah, nice. Watch the screen closely. Yeah. Woo! One side back. Okay. Now we need a bunch of pieces. So I'll grab the stuff from the B side. We need the Joy-Con holder, and then you need to grab some stuff from the A-side. Okay, good. Yep. Let's get some of stuff. And then just get up the out. You think these things were in the archive? Probably. Or die stabbed? Um, hmm. Well, I would say that probably the, um, you know, the parts where you fold it, probably was like pressed down, you know, like, like a, a mold or something. I'm not really sure. It'd be interesting to see the, uh, the process, because it is also, you know, getting stuff printed onto it, too. Sure. Oh, this is the other joy con holder. Yep. The one that goes up to your head. It says, Wait. It says, don't lose the little donut shaped piece. It must be super important. So, uh oh. Maybe it just disappears. Yeah, the little circle thing. one. It's is it in the. Is it in here? Wait, I think it's in here. What? Was that just a warning? Why was, was that? that? Yeah, exactly. Why is that a warning? Oh, I found it. <laughs> Maybe it's just like easy to lose. Yeah, okay. I'm going to put it right here next to the other joy so we know where it is. That's really weird that it has the warning and then we immediately <laughs> lost it. I just wish it had like an autoplay. You know, like instead of me having to hold down the A. Okay. Okay, the one's going to do my stuff first. So plot twist. Firmly crease the fold lines. Oh. Guess it has to run like really flat or something. Put that piece on top of this piece. Okay. Just like before, fold the end up into a triangle. Yeah. 
feel like a lot of people are going to be great. Okay, so it says, now for this long, complicated looking piece, that's the one you have, uh, put the printed side down, and then fold it in half and press hard. It's like really flush against the other side. Mm -hmm. And then just make sure all the little pieces, yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Oh, we need the orange pieces again. So our pieces are gonna come on. Okay. So here's this. Oh, that is the donut. There you go. Its name is Donut Tello. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then this piece of paper's next. Flip like this. Just make sure those circles line up. Okay. Put it on top of Donut Tello. Oh, I didn't fold that up. Probably gonna like, really press hard. Make sure everything's flush. And then there's the uh, washer. Make sure to line the eyelet up with the very center of the hole in the top piece. The two L's should be right next to each other. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Snap in. Yeah, it seems like the, uh, the donut piece kind of gets in the way. It might be a bit difficult, but just press down firmly. Sorry to keep you waiting, little buddy. <laughs> I guess that's more like a this, is, this is why they ask for an adult. There you go, use this. I was gonna try and put the mic on there, but the mic wasn't connecting on my laptop, so. Got it. Nice. Hold on, do not slip out. I heard part of it. And then it says uh, to bend the edges again. Yes. Yeah, so like this part right there, and then that other side. This side? Yeah, right. And here? Yeah, right here. Alright. Oh, okay. So sorry about that. Next, we'll make the Joy-Con holder. This is very important, so stay focused. Um, I think you punched out that piece, right? Yeah, this one. Oh, you already made it? Yeah, I Oh, okay, nice. Already. It's not that hard. Okay. <laughs> really wish there was an autoplay. <laughs> the A button on this Joy-Con is one more thing with this. This is like the easier piece to build. I don't know why they're saying that it's so hard. Okay, now this part seems like it might be Making sure that the uh, Joy-Con symbol marks point in the same direction, place the holder on top of the visor piece. Ho ho ho, foolish Joy-Con holder, you fell right into my cutting track. I'm going to hold you here with these two tabs. I like how they have, like, kind of a sense of humor about it. Yeah. That's for the adults, I guess. <laughs> That's like a good thing. Yes. Says you can laugh evilly or not. Your call. Got that all in place? Yep, all in place. Okay, cool. We put it on the visor now. So just do the same thing where you put the L. L tab in the L 
or there. I think now we're gonna need to get the like, straps and stuff. Yeah, more than likely. I'll let you take care of that part. <laughs> Alright, let me just sort past this stuff. And then I think I'm gonna need to give you one of the joy cons too. Okay. The strap kind of looks like a katana blade on the screen. Take the flat strap from the bag. You don't want the long one or the short one. It's the medium length one you need. Oh, okay. I think I picked it out though. Oh wait, did I take a middle one? Yeah, okay. Not the medium. <laughs> it kind of looks like one. Red the strap. I think it'd be easier to hold it. Keep the pointy side up. Zigzag to make it so that it doesn't move around too much. Yeah. Okay, and then put your finger in the little rounded cutout. Oh, we didn't cut that piece out. There's a piece missing right there. So you try and pop that out. Ah. It says open the hidden pocket. It's open. Oh my, what's this? Okay, so you slide it back through there. Yeah, I can do that. Oh, I think you went too far. So this actually ends oh, okay, in there. Yeah, so just pull it back the other way. <laughs> I guess you adjust it on the other side. That's why your parent or guardian helps you. <laughs> yeah. So now what do I pull it like? Yeah, so you pull pull it a little bit more. Oh the other way. Basically it says that the uh, like that's the, end. the angle piece should be able to fit, like, fit all the way underneath there. And then you just, yeah, you just push that back on that. Okay. Cool. Okay, so then bring it, like, loop it around, and we're going to go through the labo part here. So, okay. I guess it goes here. Around. This is about how long the strap that goes across your forehead should be. If yours looks like this, you're in good shape. Okay, so you just gotta pull this piece a little bit more. Yeah, because you want to have that lined up with your ears. Nice. Okay, so then you bring it back around to here. 
The rest of the strap will now go through the zigzaggy openings on the left side. Mm -hmm. So you go through this part first. The second one. From the other side, right? Is. From so good. Yeah, go through there. Mm -hmm. And then pull it through, and then come back around. Mm -hmm. And then you just adjust this back strap. Good. Are you gonna wear it? Whoa! Cool, it's like you got a VR helmet. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you want to wear it for right now. How necessary is this for actually playing the game? Well, you put the Joy-Con there, so I think it tracks like your head movement. So like, you know, you can look around in the game. I'm sure like, since the Joy-Con thing switches to when you move it up and down, I'm sure that affects the game mm. so. Mm. I can see why they would say it takes a certain amount of time. Just because you have to click through so much text and pictures. Okay, the guy's name is Edley McCutton. Going to the next thing. <laughs> it says the robot sees all and knows all. Uh oh. <laughs> it's powered by the people. Yeah. I'll say to you about your hearing another room. Alright, so now we're making the police. Okay, so we need C and D. It's gonna be sitting there looking cool. Ooh, colors. Um, we can take, we can take C. So we just need all of these. And it's just two pieces of each page. Once you uh, get them out of there, just start folding it a bit. Get the pieces. And I don't think it wants you to connect them just yet because we have to run the strings to it. So meanwhile, while we're streaming this, there's probably like hundreds of streams for God of War. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does look fun. Well, they're probably also short. Yeah. It's a little bit more intense than this is. I have too many games to finish on the Switch and PlayStation for me to start getting into a game like that. Now the funny thing with like how uh, God of War does like the life bar and everything like that now, it almost looks like a Dark Souls game. Yeah, I kind of feel like they were going with that deal a little bit more. Because then it's also, like it's a little bit closer to like over the shoulder. Because yeah. like remember in the other games it was kind of like zoomed back a little bit so you could see like mm -hmm. all of the damage he was causing. Yeah, I mean you're still like way more powerful than any enemy on the screen though. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can't make it too soul-like. It would get suspicious. Yeah. 
Oh, uh, love it. Great. Jeez. Maybe we might just have to finish that up tomorrow. We might be able to finish building it, but I don't know if we'll have time to like, even play anything. <laughs> How about after we finish up? Sounds good to me. Okay, so we can actually start putting the box together. Okay, so we want to fold it and just put it like this. Tab in there. Just like that. Yeah. Make sure you do the other one too. Yeah, it is not a big truck. Yeah, this meme is older than the kids that have been playing with this. I didn't know that. Uh, <laughs> I didn't say the uh, Rick and Morty slash My Little Pony comments, Brandon. <laughs> oh, okay, we literally just fold it like this and we're done for right now. So, once you get that one side folded, then you just fold up the bottom part. Simple. I really hope it doesn't go through. Okay, good. You can fast forward the video by stretching the forward button to the right with your finger. Yeah, well, that's all fine and good, but we're not in that mode. We're in dock mode right now. I'm sorry. Oh, I see. The system doesn't go if you're using button controls, you can do the same thing by holding Y slash A as you press ZR, which is the back one. Okay, now we're going. Okay. I didn't think it was this earlier. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know this is like the 14th piece, but... Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to... But why do they even have to show us this again? We know... So, like, Lego does something similar where it'll say, like, oh, well, you're going to need four of these pieces because it's, like, a wheel or something like that. But it'll say, this piece, the instructions one time, and then it says times four. Why couldn't it just do that for this? Last one. Robot won't be able to move without him, eh? We need four big stickers. Check the stickers on the screen carefully to be sure you're using the right ones. Okay, so I'll give you two of them. They go on the outside, or? Yeah, so I think it's gonna go right across here. Okay. Yeah, so we'll wait until it puts this sticker down. Follow the little down lines and try to stick the stickers on nice and straight. A tiny bit crooked is fine, though. Oh, I see. There you go. It's basically motion capture. Let's see the down lines. I see where it's supposed to go, I just don't see any down lines. I don't know, though, because it's They're like. They're like engraved on there. Mine doesn't seem like that. Yeah, I mean, I don't see them, but I know where it's supposed to go. I know where it's supposed to go. Uh, here's your second sticker. See. This is the only one I've seen. Not look at this one. You seen them there? Uh, no. I think they forgot to. Mine, I, <laughs> I think they forgot to stamp mine. Here you go. We can see what the next piece is after this. Let's see if we want to do any more of it. That is interesting that it uses basically motion capture. 
I guess it sees where the... It sees the reflection. Yeah. Yeah, because you know what? It probably goes off of where the Joy-Con yeah. is reflecting off of. Well, um, what's cool about the Labo is once you finish building it, it shows you how it works. Like, it'll literally give you, like, the, like an x-ray, 3D x-ray inside. Um, power sheets. Okay. So it should be under this. Is this J? stuff in here. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll grab this whole piece as it falls apart in my hand. Okay, here's the power sheets. It's just white cardboard, but it's it reflective. It's probably gonna go here. Yeah. Um, okay, I'll just take those out, I guess. Let's see what we have to do next. Four power sheets, right? Separate the strips starting at the little triangle bite marks. Don't tear the other thinner horizontal for braided lines just yet. Okay. Very interesting. I think we have to do all of them. Yeah. Each power sheet has five strips. Separate them carefully. You won't need to use too much force. Okay, so we we'll took to that one. So I feel like this is the kit they wouldn't get for STEM classes because it's like pretty involved. Yeah. Trust me, my kids can't even. Yeah. Hey, we don't curse on this channel. That's why I bought my <laughs> It's a good Christian server. Yes. <laughs> okay, you got all your cardboard? Yeah. Okay. So now, uh, I'll put that over there. Yeah. Fold the strip down along each crease like an accordion. It might help to come up with a little rhythm as you fold. What is this, fashion? If you accidentally tear along the dot lines, you just stack the pieces. Okay, guess we do for all of them. I don't really say folding right now, though. Did you do your second piece, too? You just get it ready for all of them. Okay.
So we should have five for each of the uh, pistons here. That's what it says. It's where the uh, pulleys go through, though. But you know, it's supposed to be like as if it was, you know, robotic stints. Yeah. Okay, so each of them have five. And then. It says before we can insert the stacks into the power piston, we'll need to fold back this long tad that looks a bit like a tongue. So it comes back around this. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, okay. So... You're already folding them in there? Yeah. And then you have this pushed in? Yeah. Cool. Maybe we should just give it a little bit of weight or something. Yeah. Okay. Uh, make sure the they're all the way pushed down in the back because there was that little tab. See how they're all flush? So I find it easier to just kind of like put it in front of where that tab that's sticking out in the back is. And then just push the rest of them on top of it. Yeah, then you just let it push down there. normal. But the actual what's it this? I don't know. We'll get it down one day. <laughs> okay, this is I'm probably literally I'm literally fast forwarding it as much as possible. It's like it's not even I wonder it says this takes like four hours to make. <laughs> Like, imagine if you didn't fast forward this. I bet if I just had a list of all the parts I needed, I'd be able to do this. Yeah. I mean, they literally had to make it as simple as possible. Oh, it even said take a break. Alright, we're gonna do what it says. Well, let's at least finish the string part. Because, look, we're almost done. Okay. We're almost done these. Four strings, there should be two of the light blue and two of the orange. So, I think the light blue is for the legs and these are for the arms. So, do you want to work on the legs? Yeah, you get the long ones then. Then I'll take the arch ones. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're going to do yours first. Okay, so you... Oh, okay, I think you already... Let's see if you figured it out. 
I think. Does it go on your second one? Yeah, so you have to lift up both tabs like that. Make sure it's on the whole part. Um, I don't know if it needs to be on one side or the other, though. You see how the string's going through? Well, either way, I can just pull it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and you're going to be wrapping it around, I think. We're going to tie the string into two knots. Tie the first knot, but make sure to leave enough tail for the second one. Can you help lifting up the tabs? You got it. Okay, so just make sure that there's only a little bit of extra. Which um, side? This side, so I'll help you. Okay. Okay, and tie that first. Now tie the second knot right on top of the other one. It says, if you're having trouble, ask a friendly robot for help or an adult. Or you could just ask Mark Zuckerberg. It would be both. <laughs> you can stick the rest of the short string into the power of sin from the small gap. See, so you just tuck that in there. Does the string go over the two tabs? It look like that? Yep. Thanks. And then I think you just fold um, the rest of the box together. Okay. So the string, yeah, the string goes through the hole. All the way. Nice. Pretty cool. One down, three more to go. And then oh, we'll... I can do this one real quick. Yeah, and then I can work on the orange ones. Yeah, it probably doesn't matter which direction the little bit of string is going because it just goes through there in the end. <laughs> so. It is exactly the same. All right. My turn. Yeah, this is like way longer than I expected it to take to build this thing. It's like, oh man, this is a thing for kids. This is gonna be like five minutes. You know, like if it was like a Lego or something. I mean, I liked his Francis videos back in the day. So he got this ahead of time? Like, did he get it yesterday? Uh, I don't know when he got it. Because GameStop was going to let me get it yesterday, but, you know. <clears throat> the audience doesn't know, but you and I know that we were at a work dinner, so. No time for Nintendo. <laughs> Gotta do adult stuffs. Alrighty. All the pistons are done, and I think we're done for the night. <laughs> well, we see you next time. Yeah. This is one other person. But it's also gonna save it, so. So it's the four behind. 
Um, okay, so. It's out of here. Yep, and then stop the screen. Yep. Alrighty, so. Thanks everyone for watching. See ya. We'll come back later.